Hello, welcome to the next video on the conversion of an electric Sentra to an electric car. Um, I have accumulated 300,000 views of my videos and almost a thousand subscribers and thank you very much and I'm sorry if I don't have time to answer all the questions I receive, I just don't have the time but thanks very much for subscribing and for watching the videos. This is going to be one video before the last. Uh, I, I can say that the project is uh, finally complete or almost complete. The only thing I'm going to show in the next video is an, another general look at the car and the, f the, the front uh, storage uh, space that I want to do. Other than that, the car is pretty much complete and I think uh, it'd be a good time to stop making the videos and, 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 and conclude this, this series of videos. Um, so this is one video before last and what I want to show is the improvements that I've made since the last time and then we'll go and do a test drive. The first thing that I did is um, I removed the um, gauges that were here in the pillar. Uh, there are no more uh, indicators in the pillar. They were blocking my view a little bit but that was not the main problem. The main problem was that it, they, they were not very accurate. They were an an analog and they were not very accurate. So what I did is I got one of these JLD 404 and it fits right right there in this space. It was it was really great because it fit in this space as it was made for. So this is a JLD 404 and um, pretty much uh, it has uh, four main indicators. One is the ampere hours this comes the ampere hours in and out this is a plus sign or a minus sign indicating that the ca the power is going in or coming out right now i have it connected to the power so it's charging you can see that it's charging and when it's driving this decreases so it's, it's it gives a very very good idea of the state of charge of the battery uh it lets me also uh calculate things like how much power is really using the air conditioning for example then it has the time that is that, that is been operating uh, it has the amperes that are going into the battery patch package and then it has the voltage of the system right now I have a hundred twenty seven point nine uh, volts and as you can see is charging now the, the other thing I did in this as I mentioned before is I installed the timer into the vacuum gauge uh, so this has a 10 seconds delay now. This has a 10 seconds delay, so if you see, it doesn't turn on right away. And the vacuum pump is working and accumulating vacuum. And after 10 seconds, it starts, so it doesn't it doesn't beep anymore. Uh, that helps me with the noise. It's, it's just mostly for the noise. Um, okay. So, um, what else? I have my charger program and installed. Uh, the location where the uh, controller uh, charger is installed now is here. Uh, I'm going to try to show it. It's under the car. And I basically just built a cover uh, for the for the charger so it doesn't get uh, water when it rains. And uh, maybe you can hear this it's buzzing so it's uh, making noises because it's charging and of course I uh, I left the uh, fiber optic in the charger LED so I uh, see let me show you if you can see it there's a LED there that is telling me that it's charging the J1772 is also working uh, the circuit that controls the pilot signal for the charger is also working so uh, and I decided to uh, change the charger setting to charge the batteries at 100%. The reason is because uh, I can always disconnect the cable or use the JLD 404 to disconnect the charger whenever I want. But when I need most of the range, I'll just leave it to charge at 100%. And I'll have all my range that I need when I need it. And less range when I also want it. So... Um, so it's ready for public charging. It works in public charges. I already did the test. It's, it's working in public charges. Uh, what else? Uh, as you, if you remember, I was going to build this trailer hitch, uh, which is now 
has been installed and basically I use that for a bicycle rack so this goes here I can use bicycles whenever I want so more or less this goes like this it, it locks with the pin but I can uh, now use my bicycle whenever I want to um, what else the batteries um, this is how the trunk looks like now uh, oh and this is the, the uh, circuit by the way for the uh, public charging I just have a switch there and that's the circuit that is working for public charging is working great so uh, this is the way that I have my trunk now uh, this is nothing else than PVC with a uh, speaker fabric that you can get this fabric in any fabric store or or in eBay it's very easy to find and it's just like you to put it so this is what I did I just have the covers here for the batteries and then <coughs> this is the cover. I did a double cover because they need to be uh, release resistant to put things on top but uh, this is this is what I did and you can do this easily just uh, PVC glue and a heat gun on PVC you just use a heat gun and it bends really easily so it's really, much really easy to make this, uh, these covers um, let me show you just quickly the battery voltages I'm very impressed with the battery voltages I bought and balance these batteries and they don't go out of sync. They, they it's amazing how good they uh they are in the voltage sense. They they don't they have point zero two differences between between the batteries. That's very very good. For example, 803, 803, 803, 803. 803 803 so if you see this is excellent 803 803 803 803 I'm going to stop here if you see the batteries are very very well balanced um, my theory is that because the connectors between the batteries are very thick they don't create resistance and that's why they have the same voltage all the time uh, my conclusion so far is that I don't really need a BMS we'll see as the time goes by and as the months pass if I, uh, if I, if I see the need for a BMS right now I am very happy with the way the batteries are behaving I don't think I need a BMS but we'll find out uh, I have some storage space on the side which is great uh, I used to have this under the seats, now I have it here, so I even got a little bit of storage space in there. Um, okay, um, I think it's time for a test drive. I'm going to try to test uh, specifically, uh, I'm going to talk about the wrench and I'm going to talk about the uh, 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration. Thank you. Okay, this is going to be a video in English and Spanish. Este va a ser un video en inglés y en español. Uh, vamos a probar cuánto se hace el carro ahora de 0 a 100. Y bueno, uh, es una calle más o menos pareja. This is a flat street. This is a good place to test. So I'm going to start testing now. My chronometer. probando of power is what this battery is supposed to provide uh, safely so I 
didn't want to exceed more than that. Uh, si recordarán, reduje el controlador de mil, mil amperes a 750 porque eso es lo que eso se traduce en 85 mil kilowatts uh, de potencia que es lo que dice que, se, que, que, con, que, que no debe excederse en las baterías uh, pensé que iba a ser mejor en la, la prueba de velocidad pero se siente el carro responsivo y se siente bien no, no, no me importa, está bien eh, conservarlo así en, en, en 17 segundos 16 hace rato Um, en fin, este, esta es la prueba de manejo, el carro está manejando, si se fijan aquí está el contador de, de, de Amperes Hours que está disminuyendo conforme voy manejando, aquí está el signo de menos, this is the Ampere Hours counter, and if you see it's decreasing, uh, as I told you, this minus sign, it means that it's getting power out of the battery, and that gives me a good idea of uh, the power that I'm getting out of the battery. So, um, the, I'm, I'm fine with the speed, how it is right now, the car. Um, so, um, overall, I'm very happy with the conversion. It drives really nice. I was doing highway miles the other day. En general, estoy muy contento con la conversión. Se maneja bien. El otro estuve manejando en la carretera. I drove 46 miles and I still had about uh, 25 miles of range per my calculations with the amperimeter, ampere hours meter. El otro día manejé 46 millas en carretera y resulta que todavía me quedaron como 25 millas de rango según mis estimados del amperímetro. Y I even drove with the air conditioning on uh, and it was great. Right now I have the air conditioning on. Eh, manejé con el aire acondicionado encendido, encendido y ahorita lo traigo encendido y pues no vibra nada, nada suena, este, se maneja muy a gusto, ya ni siquiera necesito la dirección hidráulica porque está súper ligero en la parte de adelante. I don't even need power steering because it's so light in the front that I, I can drive without power steering. I still have it if, if I need it, like if I want to park in a closed space, I still have the, the, the power steering, I just use it. I need it. Uh, todavía tengo la dirección hidráulica por si necesito usarla cuando me estaciono en algún lugar cerrado o algo así, pero realmente no la uso casi, es muy ligero de adelante el carro y, y se, maneja, se puede manejar sin dirección hidráulica. Um, here's an example of the amper hour meter, so it's, it's in the negative side and this is in the negative side, which means it's getting power out of the battery. This gives me a very good idea of how many amp hours is using while I'm driving. Esto está en el negativo y aquí también dice negativo y con eso indica que está saliendo energía de las baterías. Y bueno, esto me da una muy buena idea del rango que tengo y del consumo que me está dando. Um, it's very interesting to know that when I uh, when I have this the air conditioning on, I, I realized that it, it uses up to like 25% of the consumption. Uh, I thought that the air conditioning was more efficient, but it's not. It's just about 25% of the consumption of a battery, or the, uh, uh, like one quarter of the power that it needs to move is using just for air conditioning. Con este medidor realmente me di cuenta que el aire acondicionado yo creo que era más eficiente, pero realmente está consumiendo como un cuarto de la batería que usa para moverse. O sea que un cuarto de la energía que usa para mover el carro lo está usando en el aire acondicionado y yo creí que era un poco más eficiente, pero uh, no es mucho, o sea que a uh, menos que necesite mucho rango, uh, pues lo voy a mantener prendido el aire acondicionado. Ok, we're back. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I want to thank my wife, Claudia, for uh, typing old videos. I mean, she's been helping me with the videos and thank you very much. Uh, see you in the next video.